Hi, welcome to Black Girl Problems. Welcome to Predator Watch. Today we have a French man by the name of John Luke Burnell, um, who was a modern agent. Um, I think it's elite models, um, but he was a close associate and friend of Jeff- Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Now, we've got a story here where um, next top model scout John um, John Claude Burnell flew 12 triplets, poor tw- 12, 12 triplets in from France as a birthday present for Jeffrey Epstein in the abuse and an unsealed documents claim. So this is an old article, I think, from 2015. Now, like I told you, like I was telling you my story about how we went to that modern agency as teenagers and we fell prey. My friend, luckily, because I, I quit, um, my friend fell prey to a predator, yeah? You know, the man that ran the agency was raping up the girls, yeah? Yeah, and he was a white man for people who think, yeah, yeah. And this is what I'm saying. The difference in predators, when it when black men are predators, they're not as sophisticated as white men. White men will promise you the world. I was always getting stopped as a, as a teenage girl. Like, oh, do you want to be a model? You're so tall. You sure you don't want to be a model? And that happened quite regular because I'm like 5'9", you know, and I was slim in, in them days, yeah. I was always getting stopped by these um, white men, yeah, these older white men. I'm not talking about young white men. I'm talking about older white men. Thank God. I never fell for it, yeah? Thank God. Anyway, so the modern industry likes to put out that, that you know, that it's the it's the small agencies that you have to worry about. They, you know, they try and con girls with promises of a modeling career, but quite often they, you know, they, they're into prostitution and sex trafficking. What they forget to mention is these big modern agencies are also doing the same thing. Yeah, you know, passing people off to business and teenage girls, underage girls to businessmen and older women as well. And, you know, getting them addicted to drugs and stuff like that. So this is Jeffrey Epstein. So John Luke Burnell is his associate. So he sent Jeffrey Epstein as a present three poor French triplets, 12 yeah and it says in a lawsuit a civil suit filed in miami in 2015 virginia Grufe alleges that you know john luke burnell sent three 12 year old girls to jeffrey epstein as a present yeah um, they were really poor and the parents needed the money. Yeah, so this is what she's saying. She said that she saw the three girls with her own eyes and that Epstein repeated how he how the girls massaged him and performed oral sex on him. And they were flown back to France the next day. Yeah. Um, he went on to tell um, Jufre that Burnell bought them in Paris from their parents and offering them the usual sums of money, visas and modelling prospects. Um, Jeffrey was laughing through the whole thing and seeing how brilliant it was and how easy it is to seduce all walks of life with money and that nobody, nothing or nobody can cannot be bought. Yeah. Um, Virginia is also alleging that Burnell and Epstein recruited young girls from South America and Eastern Europe to have sex with. And that Epstein gave one million to help Burnell launch a um, modelling firm in Miami to have a supply of girls on tap. It's alleged that Burnell acquired a, a legit, Ill, Ill, illegitimate visas for underage girls from foreign countries and Epstein housed them at his brother's apartment in Manhattan, bloody hell. That they would be charged rent, force them to work for selling their bodies for money, nude pictures and even pornography. Yeah? So pornographic movies, I take it. Um, oh, God. 
Um, so, so you've got that. So, this and this, but you know, I'm sure. I think it might be Elite Models, and you know, Elite Models is the one that is a real. Um, that launched Naomi Campbell, Karen Mulder, and Karen Mulder was one of the people that said, I don't know if it's a Burnell or the older Frenchman that she alleged raped her and drugged her. There's a long list of people that have said this guy has raped them. So it says, ex models speak out against the French fashion boss. Um, oh, this is. Um, Jerry Marie. Ah, so he's the one from Elite. So, sorry, John Claw, John, uh, John Luke Burnell. John Luke Burnell is the modeling agency agent, but the head of it, the former European chief of Elite Models. Yeah, I think he's the one, Gerard Marie, that was married to Alinda Vangelista. Yeah. You know, the supermodel, yes. And I think he's the one. Jerry Marie has been accused of raping, yeah. So it's just talking about a sting operation that the BBC journalist um, did. I think it was up um, when she had an encounter with Jerry Marie. Um, and said that she got sexually assaulted, yeah, by him. Um, I think what happened was they sued the BBC, so they had to drop the the sting operation and you know the program that they were gonna do. I'm not too sure. I if they, I think no, I think they did it. They aired it and then they had to drop it because this Jerry Marie um sued the BBC and won or something. I think that's what happened. Um. It says elite models have launched the careers of household names like Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, and former wife, um, supermodel Linda Evangelista. I told you. So, and he's been accused, um, accused of rape. Um, so it says that this um journalist from the BBC was invested like they. Investigating John Luke Burnell as well as Jerry, is it Gerard? Is it Gerard Marie? Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. She says during a dinner in a nightclub in Milan, um, Marie repeatedly propositioned her and offered to pay for sex, and then pinning her to the chair and insulting her through her clothes. She was absolutely powerless and said no, 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 but he kept going. Is it E Eba? Um, Carlson, a former elite model from Sweden, also spoke with investigators last week, saying Marie qu quickly debused her of any notions of a glamorous career as the face of fashion. Um, she recalls a meeting with Marie, showing photographs of the agency's models, asking if she knew how they got famous while putting his hand on her leg. This is what I'm saying. The casting count, she's basically... Implying that how Naomi Evangelista, Cindy Crawford, how they got um, famous was by you know sleeping with men, being a prostitute, being high class high prostitutes. Well, to be famous, you have to give something f from yourself. Then he put his hand up her dress to assault her. I felt like someone chopped my head off. My power just disappeared. I had no power. I froze. Oh. 